Since 1969, the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, has been providing financial aid to numerous countries within the region, especially in the area of community development. In Jamaica, the CDB has funded two major social intervention projects managed by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund, JASIF. They are the Basic Needs Trust Fund and the Community Investment Project. The Community Investment Project, CIP, operates at a cost of 15 million US dollars, which is jointly paid for by the CDB and Jamaican government. It aims to improve on infrastructural development in rural communities. One component of CIP is the Bridge Jamaica program, targeted at families living below the poverty line who don't have access to social amenities. The program is executed by JSIF in tandem with the Ministry of Labor and Social Security, along with other partners. We're targeting 30 treatment families in the parishes of Portland, St. Thomas and Trelawney, but we're also having 30 control groups. Now, what that means is that 30 of the groups would have been on path and receiving the bridge project, and 30 groups would only be on path because at the end of the day, we want to be able to get a good assessment of how this project actually supplements the path project. Mostly administered in the comfort of the participants' home, social workers employ a mixture of games and psychosocial assessments, which should help the families realize their goals of self-actualization. Before the bridge project, um, these families, under normal circumstances, wouldn't have had such access to education, employment opportunities, etc. So now that the project is being operated, um, these families are more motivated, they are more self-determined and resilient in their efforts. They are more involved in the problem-solving process and they really are more participative in the program. So this will not only improve the standard of living, but it will allow them to be more independent and responsible for their own success in life. Well, this program has been a great help to me and my family based on the fact that there are things I wanted to do before I've been introduced to this program, but when it was unable to, based on lacking of financial support. With Shelly Ann now, she now owns a NIS card. Her TRN is in the process, as well as birth certificates for her children. She's also working on getting a passport. Now, before the program, this wasn't possible. I think JSF is doing a very good job in trying to alleviate poverty within families by helping, helping us to cross over this imaginary bridge, which leads to better education, a higher self-esteem and independence. So I want to thank them for choosing me to be a part of this program. Like CIP, the Basic Needs Trust Fund, BNTF, seeks to create sustainable communities through infrastructural development and skills training. However, the program expands to include environmental protection and caters to rural and urban communities. Launched by the CDB in 1979 with assistance from the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, the Basic Needs Trust Fund has to date completed six cycles. Now in the seventh phase, with a tune of about $6.9 million from the CDB, that program will focus on human and resource development, education, water and sanitation, and community access and drainage. Catering not only to the cognitive needs, but also the social development of its students, Genesis Academy sought the assistance of JSIF to enhance its environment. At a cost of approximately $15 million, the Academy was fully equipped with a play area, multi-purpose court and green space. First of all, as you know, um, learning takes place not only in the classroom, but also at play. So having this space for our children, it gives us a wonderful opportunity to have them grow socially and physically. One child in particular, a young lady, um, she was able to stand and hold on to the bars um, and walk a few steps and over time she's walking independently. We just want to say a big thank you to the Basic Needs Trust Fund through JSIF for funding this project because without them we would not be able to provide this wonderful facility for our children. Thousands of Jamaicans have benefited from social transformation programs through the combined efforts of JSIF and the Caribbean Development Bank. For more information on the Caribbean Development Bank's portfolio, call JSIF's toll-free line 
1-888-991-23567. Send an email to feedback at jsafe.org or visit their website, jsafe.org. Remember to like their Facebook page. The Jamaica Social Investment Fund, investing for community development. Thank you.